Um, the Bitcoin ecosystem here in Botswana is, uh, I believe, is still very new and shallow. I don't have many patients on Bitcoin. Yeah. There's a lot of um, different news going on about Bitcoin. Some people say that it is good. Some people say that it's bad. A lot of misunderstanding. I do hear a lot of people saying that it will, it's difficult for anti-money laundering and there's a lot of uh, illegal things bought with it. But I think that's the smallest percentage than what is bought and sold with cash. So a lot of misinformation and, well, as Trump would put it, um, fake news around the Bitcoin. And as long as that is still circulating, the Bitcoin will remain volatile. The issue of volatility as well is a part of what could be making people not to easily trust it. So people feel that uh, it's not, it needs a bit of stability for it to, uh, to be easily adopted. I think it's a question of knowledge. People don't always trust things that are on the internet. And because Bitcoin is internet money, maybe people don't have a lot of trust on it. The people who mostly buy Bitcoin are those who go for pyramid schemes or uh, scammers. Yeah, that's what I would say. So the, the adaptation here is it's, it's slow, but I would say it's promising again. I came to learn about Bitcoin in the year of 2016 when uh, Ms. Alakanani Trilling introduced me to it. So that's how I came to learn Bitcoin and also make sure that I do some stuff using Bitcoin. Uh, so my name is Koke Zopelo. So I graduated last year. I was studying software engineering, bachelor's degree in software engineering with multimedia. It's like my son. It's like, <laughs> it's like my, my elder son. Like, I really, I really, I really, I really do love him a lot. She came to learn about Bitcoin by the time when her son was six. So she got online because uh, she wanted to generate some funds, some money so that she could be able to uh, take the son to to, to the hospital to get medicine for, for the child. I wasn't making a lot of money as a teacher. So I was looking for ways in which I can make money and be able to help my son. And I came across Bitcoin there. She was in and out of the hospital most of the time. Unfortunately, we lost the boy in 2012. I gave up on Bitcoin on that moment and everything that I was doing online, I stopped doing because the whole reason why I was online was because of him. Then 2013, uh, something was bugging me, you know, I was like, that thing you learned in 2012, can you just go back and and read it more. And then she started learning on Bitcoin, researching on Bitcoin, and the opportunity that Bitcoin offered her, she saw that she can bring this to Botswana and build the ecosystem. More than 5,000 or more uh, students graduate in IT field, and there are no jobs. So if you are in, in blockchain, if you are in crypto, you can create employment for yourself. So I was thinking uh, we need uh, a space so that's when the Satoshi Center idea started. So and then we started like having our teachings uh, in Satoshi Center. People will come to the center to learn, you know. This is Satoshi Center. <laughs> this is Satoshi Center, my house. Yeah. Center is a resource center for you guys to learn and then take the resources and go and do something about them. Our goal is to build a big Bitcoin community in Botswana and uh, uh, to have projects that are owned by Botswana which are Bitcoin and blockchain based. That's our goal. Alakanali is, is pushing the Bitcoin arena. 
She's been to, to, to Bank of Botswana, trying to make sure that, um, that it becomes a regulated currency. She's trying to make a Botswana wallet that is available here and is local and has a face to it, an exchange, some ATMs. So she's, she's fully committed to Bitcoin. She, uh, she has taught me quite a lot of things and I'm forever grateful for what she has done. I'm the product, I'm proud to say that I'm the product of Satoshi Center because of what she has really done. Uh, you know, I, I learned a lot of things and I've been able to survive, you know, here in the city because of Satoshi Center, because of Alakanani. I believe in my heart of hearts that Bitcoin is going to change the lives of a lot of people. It's going to change the way we do things. It has uh, brought uh, opportunities that did not exist in the past. I think that's an extremely powerful technology that I could back. People need to get to know about it and trust it. I think it's a question of trust. So one of the things that I so much want is to talk, to go to every single place in Botswana every single one of them. If I was able to find myself, you wouldn't have even found me in Khaburoni. You would have found me in the village. Because that's where I want to go. That's where I want, this, that's where you find people who are not banked.